what's up guys i'm karina sayward um, i'm a local virginia beach artist i'm originally from connecticut been here for about four and a half years uh, i work public arts i do mural work i work with the vibe district and i'm also a small scale artist as well mixed media and watercolor it's a good start right Absolutely. Yeah. so would you have time today for us to kind of like tour around some of the yeah that you've done? sure why not so when you do a big piece like that, typically, how long for a piece? Uh, I guess, you know, it really depends on, like, the design and, like, uh, the surface as well. Because, like, something that could happen in three days on a normal, like, just plaster wall could take, like, double the time if it's brick or stuff out. So, it's hard to say. It's hard to say. It depends on everything. But normally, once I get the design down and I've like got a good like footing and I can see it, it's like a little bit mapped out. And there's some paint on the wall. It goes pretty quickly. So typically, for something like that, do the businesses really work with you and tell you exactly what they want, or do they do screen? Um, there's the jets. <laughs> We're in Virginia Beach. This is authentic, guys. I worked with Three Notch Brewing recently. They had their designs completely picked out. They already they had Patrick Warner. He works with all their design work, their cans and everything. He designed that and I just applied it. But um, then you have something like the Vine District Fence Mural. That was completely my design. That was like what I wanted. There was no rules. So it kind of goes all over the place. Sometimes I get like a very strict like um, for Bosser company. I just applied quite a bit of doodle wall murals to their Chesapeake location, actually. Doodle balls being like the little outlines for anyone who doesn't know. And then for their other, their Virginia Beach location, I pitched them just a logo because for a company like that, I know that they're looking to stay very branded. So sometimes I get creative freedom, sometimes a little bit less. What part you done to bring I get asked that question all the time. Yeah, I know, for sure. Um, my mother lives here. She's lived here for about 15 years. But truthfully, like, I just was at a point in my life where I was like, all right, like, I'm not feeling very inspired. I wasn't unhappy in Connecticut, but I did feel that if anything presented itself as an opportunity, that I would go after it. And this girl came along. She's like, I need a roommate. And I was like, why not? And uh, three months later, I moved completely 500 miles from home. Wow. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. And I don't regret it. Uh, yeah, like so far. Any favorite it. places? Uh, favorite places. I feel like I should know this off the top of my head. <laughs> I do have favorite places, yeah. I mean, uh, I work at Foster Hunt Brewing. I like it there. I'm happy there. Some of my favorite places would have to be... I really like um, Desmond's Island Grill. They're a vegan place in Virginia Beach. So good. I love any of the vegan food. And Bumbling Pea is really good. Those are like, I think, a lot of my favorite spots. By the way, guys, they're going to be food spots because I'm a foodie. Um, where do my boyfriend and I go for fun? <laughs> I know we go places. I like the chef. Because it feels like I'm in someone's backyard, and that's pretty fun. Oh, I like Paylon's. Okay. Paylon's Baja, have you been there? The taco place? Yeah, yeah I, they know they know my face. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm the one that always orders the vegetarian, not vegan burrito. I'm sorry for outing myself. Well, I mean... Yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, as far as hanging out goes, I really... Oh, yeah, First Landing. I'm always at First Landing. Yeah, just because it's super chill and because I'm from Connecticut, I really missed the woods when I got here. Yeah. That was the one thing where I'm like, dang, like, there's no woods around here. Like, I love the beach, don't get me wrong, but I like hiking around a little bit. So that's kind of like a nice mixture, you know? Yeah. Great Bridge, there's a um, like battle area in Chesapeake. Mm -hmm. The woods there, that's really nice. Um, first Landing. Supposedly, Blackbeard buried some treasure in there. Whoa! You know what's crazy? So when I'm serving, like bartending, I like to put my foot up like this, and people are like, because of my hair, this is my natural hair color, and people are like, we think you were a pirate in your last life. And I was like, sure, whatever. 
and I guess Blackbeard is the name that's been thrown around, so that's oh. pretty interesting. You should go out there with a metal detector. Yes! <laughs> we'll find him by all of his, like, booty jewelry. Yeah. How do I recognize someone from Virginia Beach? Okay. Um, if they if they cheers a drink and then table touch immediately after is a small way. <laughs> it sounds weird, but it's true. Can you demonstrate? Yes. Yeah, so if this was like a drink, but it didn't have like a straw, and I was like, all right, cheers, and then I or, oh wait, I did it wrong. Oh my god, hold on. <laughs> so I cheers and then I table touch and then I sit. That's like a little Virginia Beach thing. It really is, and it's funny. The first time I went to Pelons, it was with the person who showed me that that's how you do Yeah. And like, when people don't do it, I'm like, uh, where are you from? And I'm not even, I mean, people mistake me as like a longtime local, but I think it's just because I like engulfed myself into Virginia Beach because I love it. And um, by if they know about like local spots as well. That's why I was surprised to hear that you're not a local because it sounds like you know all the good spots. Yeah, spend a lot of time wandering Virginia Beach and getting to know the community as well. Mostly because it's given so much to me, you know. That's great. So I like to try to give back. Yeah. So I know there are a couple of other businesses that have your work featured in the Splash House. Splash House. Yeah, Splash House Virginia Beach. Um, they're on 19th Street, I believe, and that was a project with Amy Bruce and Rosemary Spracklin. And we did a graffiti floor mural, which was really cool. It was challenging because we were spraying, but we were spraying down at the floor, and we had to research like sealants, but it came out really cool, and it does glow in the dark in the black light as well. And then um, chemistry. Chemistry's at the block. Gotta love chemistry. Uh, but they have a back hallway and their back hallway has about a 40 foot spiral that you can walk through that I painted. And that was my first real mural. Yeah. And Rosemary has something on the ceiling there as well. In the back. Gotta throw out the shadows, you know. Is Splash House where you're doing your event in December? Yes, yes I am. I was like, let me double check this date before we get on here. I'm pretty sure that it's um, December 5th. I wanna say December 5th. Um, I will be advertising for that as well. It's a puff and paint night. So you come through, it's all inclusive. Uh, you get a little smoke and then you sit down and I will instruct you how to paint whatever I'm gonna show you how to paint. I don't know solidified yet, but it'll be something fun and simple that everybody can do. And that should be a good time. Last time I actually just went to a, I forget, it was a puff puff splash. <laughs> But there was no painting necessarily. There was a couple people painting, but it was a lot of vendors. And it was the first um, smoking event that I had been to. And I think I really understood that the tolerance I thought I had was not quite as high as I thought it was. How does it affect your work then? Smoking? Um, <laughs> I've never been asked that. Um, it, I don't know, you know, I definitely find that I'm not, I'm not really so much a drinker, you know. I never really have been so much of a drinker. More so the smoker, for sure. Like, I'm very much so, like, probably another reason people think I'm from here. I just look like I rolled out of a sand dune sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I'm always at the beach, for sure. I think, I don't know, it just helps me sit there for hours longer than I probably would have, I guess. So it helps me kind of get sucked into the painting a little bit more and tap into like the creative part of my brain and kind of shut out like the business side of things because that's something when you go professional, you really learn how much time and like mental space is dedicated towards like the business end of all this. Yeah, which is quite a bit. Yes. Would you say that's part of your regular process then? Smoking, I think. <laughs> I'm going to be real honest with you and the viewers here. Smoking is a regular part of just like me. Like, I'm definitely, yeah, like I just, you know, it's, I can't even sugarcoat that. It's definitely part of my vibe. I, I use it for, because um, I do, I experience a little bit of anxiety actually, but I find that it kind of like mellows and helps. So there's days when I'm smoking kind of more, you know, if I'm off, I'm just like being a couch potato. But I do like to call myself one of the most productive stoners around. 
that's that's that yeah for sure the mural work started in 2020 so i was i actually was learning under rosemary kind of assisting her on a couple murals and she was like teaching me a couple things because i had no idea where to start it's a lot of like technical application versus like creativity necessarily and um it seems like there's got to be some element of math to it since we're oh, so you for sure yeah especially if you're like talking about like, I haven't done too many faces yet, but there is a lot of, it's mathematical, like with the spiral. So we had to figure out how the spiral could look like a spiral when you looked down the hallway. And then, because when you're up close and personal, like right here, and the wall's right here, it's completely different than how it would look from the beginning of the hallway. And I can't see my errors from there, so I'm literally using like mathematical reasoning and uh, sketched out lines before hips. Yeah, so that's true. It is mathematical. It's a lot more tools than like just sitting there and painting something. Do you have something that you start off with like a small version? And then oh yeah. yeah, absolutely. Yeah, so I have my iPad with me most of the time. I have seen people like, I know Victoria Weiss when I helped her out on Butter Pop Art. I helped her on her Vibe Mural Festival piece. I only helped a little bit. I painted the little rainbow, and then I helped her get some of the um, yellow flowers mapped out. But she prints it out and tapes it to a piece of cardboard so that it doesn't matter if it gets messed up, but she can constantly have it with her. I use an iPad, but I do think printing it out would benefit like outdoor murals where it gets like messy. I'm like a very messy artist. <laughs> I, I really am. So it's smart, but I think my first um, my first ideas when I'm doing something that big are going to be color blocking, and you got to think about the base layers because one thing I've had to learn over and over again with each piece is um, you have to plan to do less fixing and try to do it correctly the first time, if that makes any sense. And I always hear Rose in the back of my head like, don't plan to clean this up later because you'll add hours onto your mural and you just gotta work from like the base up. I mean with any painting that's how you should be thinking anyways, but I think with a mural it's more so like you don't want to have to spend four hours going back in and touching everything and figuring it all out over again. So I think base layers, main elements, and then center line. I always want to think about that center line. Because that way, when you work, when you get that main object in the middle planned out, everything else can fall into place. And it can be intimidating, but like every project, if I'm intimidated or a little bit nervous, I kind of feel like good about that. Because it means I'm like being challenged in some way, and I'm not just like mindlessly throwing things on the wall. So my mother was out at, I don't know where she was at the ocean front, but she was having a glass of wine by herself. And she was just vibing after work. And Rose walks in, and my mom talks to everybody. I know that people have moms like this. I do. And she started um, talking to Rose Marie about her tattoos. And then Rose was like, I'm an artist. And she's like, oh, my daughter's an artist. My mom does not sound like that. but. <laughs> And then she passed my um, info along, and Rose and I planned to meet up at Utopia Fenny. You know, Utopia? Yeah, yeah, I love Utopia Fenny. And uh, we were there for the city council members, like in the art board, like Nina Goodall and all them. They were there. They were answering questions, doing a live forum. And that was the first time Rose and I met because of my mom. And ever since that point, we just liked each other, and uh, we've worked together. Like three times since then? Yeah, so that's cool. it was a good little connection that we made. I like totally got sucked into the story of how I met Rose, and I forgot. But yeah, she did take me under her wing. Um, I showed interest in learning murals, and she was working on this gym at night, and she was doing scaffold work, so she needed an extra hand because this mural was massive. It was insane. But she really... Uh, I'm very grateful for her, very grateful that I met her and that she took the time to allow me to touch up the existing mural to learn a little bit. Yeah. I think it jump started everything, yeah. So that was your first experience with you? With Rose, yes. Yes. Did and you, then, yeah. Did you work on anything 
before you came down here, or was that really just kind of like... No, I was studying to be a psychologist, and I wanted to work with special needs kids. Oh, okay. Yes. I, I mean, I did study art in college, so I studied at um, Manchester Community College, and I took all of the intro art classes. I finished up at TCC, and I have my associates in general, but it's actually a focus in science, because they were like, you're really good at science, and I was like, thank you, but I'm good, and <laughs> I was literally about to go for my bachelor's degree and apply to ODU, and then Rose um, let me touch a wall, and that was it. Wow. Yeah, I was like, wait a second, can I, because I always have this thing where like I love painting bigger things and I love painting on walls, and uh, the moment that I did it, I was like, oh, this is it. Yeah, this is what I want to do. And you're brilliant, so if you ever want to go to school, you still want to Yeah, for sure, and I always have that associate's degree under my belt. I mean, I know an associate's in 2021 is like, whatever, but... Nothing, sure. Go check out that three notch brewing room because that's probably one of the biggest things I've ever done. Three notch? Yes, it's 27 feet long, I think. Uh, and that was a brick wall, so it took a lot of mental space to create that. Um, other than that, things that I would like to talk about right now. I host creatives and drafts. Um, I've done three of them. I will be planning a fourth. And those are always hosted at breweries, like I said. So, and they've been pretty solid in the past. Shout out to Foster Brewing and Commonwealth for allowing us to take over their spaces. Um, the only other thing that I think I wanted to mention is I literally just launched my first website. Yes, I built it myself, so it's super simple. I'm not tech savvy, but I'm trying. <laughs> it's KarinaSaywardArtworks.com, and that has uh, just my whole portfolio up to date currently, all the contact info you need. And yeah, just trying to get back out there, you know? Yes. Okay, there is one last thing I did want to ask you. Sure. Do you have a dedicated studio space, or do you just kind of work where you can? So, um, I have been kind of looking at the studio spaces, but if you go into my apartment right now, you will literally see the living area and then like my kitchen area. I have a desk and I just kind of took over of that apartment. My studio space is my house. But yeah, for sure. Um, but I do think like being a mural artist, sometimes I'm like, I would love to have a studio space, but then I'm like, my studio, my, like my office is wherever I walk in that day. Yeah, so maybe, maybe not in the future, but for now, I wake up and make a cup of coffee and roll right into it. Awesome. Yeah, for sure. Thank you for having us. Of course, thank you for having me. These lines right here, we had the slob proof, slob proof markers that were provided to us, but I was using my favorite paintbrush since 20 years old, and it snapped within the last 10 minutes. It uh, gave up on me. <laughs> so that's why it's simplified.